By the looks of it, Ja Morant will win the Rookie of the Year award. At the time of the recording of this video, Ja is averaging 17.6 points, 1 steal, 7.1 assists, and 3.5 rebounds per game. Shooting 78.3% from the free throw line, and 35.8% from the 3 point line, and 49.3% from the field in 48 games. Out of all the rookies, he's playing the best right now, and Memphis is currently in a playoff spot, sitting at the 8th seed in the West. Zion won't win the Rookie of the Year award in my opinion, because he missed too much games and nearly 3 months with a torn meniscus, so the award will most likely go to Ja Morant, and he deserves it. No other rookie deserves this award more than he does. If Ja ends up winning the Rookie of the Year award, he would be the first number 2 draft pick to win the Rookie of the Year award since Kevin Durant was drafted number 2 back in 2007 and won the award back in 2008. Here are the list of players that have won the Rookie of the Year award since Kevin Durant and their draft number. Take a look. So as you've seen, Ja Morant will be the first number 2 draft pick to win the Rookie of the Year award since Kevin Durant 12 years ago. Even if the Memphis Grizzlies don't sustain their playoff spot, I still think that Ja Morant will be the favorite to win the Rookie of the Year award. But with all of this being said, as you see here, and in real life, Ja Morant is off to a great start, and I don't think his high level of play is going to end anytime soon. I believe it will last for years. I also believe that he'll be a superstar, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. And before I get deeper into the video, I'd like to shout out Goat James and Uriel NBA. They make YouTube videos about basketball like myself, and even though you are a fan of my content, don't be afraid to go over and take a look at their channel. And last but not least, very close friends of mine created an Instagram page to raise awareness about Alzheimer's disease. So if you know a person that is suffering from the disease, don't be afraid to share that person's story and to follow their Instagram page, Fight Against AD. It would be great if you support them as well. But with all of that being said, it's Core Insights 95 digging down to the core and giving you my insight on this specific topic for this video stay tuned 23 ain't playing dirty feeling like james i'm brown worthy barely got numbers but feel like a legend next side of the west and with claremont the second my family hungry my homies is hungry remember we're starving and using the oven just like my debut video of this Cycle Continues series, where I was talking about Zion first, there's a reason why I made my own video game cover of John Morant, and I put it beside NBA Live's cover of Russell Westbrook in past NBA Live games in my thumbnail, and I titled this specific video the way that I titled it, because that's how special I feel that John Morant will be in the NBA. He will be video game cover worthy. The Cycle will continue. So welcome back to my Cycle Continues series. That's how great I think that Jaw will be. Last year when Jaw was interviewed on the Dan Patrick show, he came out and said this. I would say who I try to play like is Westbrook. He's my favorite player, and I just like how he plays all around. He scores, rebounds, and passes. And also just the aggressiveness he plays with, just like he's got a chip on his shoulder. I just feel like in my opinion, and most people probably wouldn't think so, but I just feel like he is a great player, but just doesn't get the respect he deserves. And I kind of feel like that's how I was coming up. I was a great player, but obviously was overlooked. It's so obvious Ja plays like Westbrook. He's the second coming of Westbrook. He even stated that he molded his game after Russell Westbrook. But here's the thing. I'm not saying he's currently better than Russell Westbrook because Ja is obviously not, but he can become greater than Russell Westbrook in the future because take this in. Look at his stats so far this season and compare it to Westbrook's rookie and sophomore season. Like I said before, Ja is averaging 17.6 points, 1 steal, 7.1 assists, and 3.5 and rebounds per game. Shooting 78.3% from the free throw line, and 35.8% from the three-point line, and 49.3% from the field in 48 games. In Westbrook's rookie season, he averaged 15.3 points, 1.3 steals, 5.3 assists, and 4.9 rebounds per game, and he shot 27.1% from the three-point line, and 39.3% from the field in 32 and a half minutes per game. And in his sophomore season, Westbrook averaged 16.1 points, 1.3 steals, 8 assists, and 4.9 rebounds per game, and shot 22.1% from the three-point line and 41.8% from the field playing 34.8 minutes per game. Ja is averaging better stats in his rookie season than
than Westbrook did in his rookie season and sophomore season. What's even crazier about what Jaw's doing is the fact that he's doing all of this playing under 30 minutes per game, and so far this is a fact. Jaw is a better decision maker than Westbrook is at this age, and even a better shooter, and he's more flashy, and he's just as athletic as Westbrook is already. But before I get even more deeper into the video, I have to let you know this. Russell Westbrook is my favorite player, so you can't come at me with the I hate Westbrook argument. But yeah, Jaw is a beast. If Jaw continues to play at this level, I believe that Memphis will sustain their playoff spot and make it to the playoffs for the first time since 2017 after losing their franchise cornerstones Mike Conley and Mark Gasol, which is amazing. And what's even more amazing is that Jaw would be the first number two draft pick to make it to the playoffs in his rookie season since Evan Turner was drafted number two back in 2010 and he made it to the playoffs while playing for the Philadelphia 76ers back in 2011 as a rookie. Take a look. So as you've seen, Ja would be the first number two draft pick since Evan Turner was drafted number two back in 2010 to make it to the playoffs in his rookie season. And since I'm comparing Ja Morant to Russell Westbrook, I have to add this in. Russell Westbrook didn't even make it to the playoffs in his rookie season. He made it to the playoffs in his sophomore season. That's just amazing if you sit and think about it. That's how good Ja is already. And he's clearly the leader for the Memphis Grizzlies in his first season as a rookie. Ja is going to be special, man. I believe that he will be a superstar like I said before. This is just a prediction, but this is what I think that Jaw's stats will look like by the end of this season and how his stats will look like in the near future, in the regular season, and in the playoffs as well. I also believe that Jaw will be a multiple time all-star, a consistent MVP award candidate, and who knows, maybe even a multiple time MVP award winner, and possibly winning a championship or more, and the leader in most statistical categories in the Memphis Grizzlies organization, just like how Westbrook leads OKC in most statistical categories in the OKC Thunder organization. I also like the way that the Memphis Grizzlies are built right now. All the organization has to do is build around these four players, John Morant himself, Dylan Brooks, Brandon Clark, and Jaron Jackson Jr. The right way by adding a piece here and there, and hopefully these four stay healthy. And if things are done the right way, I believe that this team will be championship contenders in the near future, with these four being on the same page, which they are showing already. But things change when more success comes, so hopefully they keep this up. And if they do, they'll be dangerous and like I said before, championship contenders in the near future. I will also do a video on how far I think this young Memphis Grizzlies team can reach in the near future. But with all of this being said, this is how great I think that John Morant will be in the NBA. But that's it for the video guys, and like I always say, please like and subscribe and hit that notification button and comment below. Tell me what you think, your opinion matters, and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. It's the same name as my YouTube channel name, and share this video. Peace! I eat my French toast bag of French girl, tell her, let's go. Watch me explode like I'm Mentos mixed with that coke. Moving like a groupie, so I back up pronto. Though you a baddie, I'm gonna split my Uber, go get you a taxi.